on the uh, phone or tablet, and it can be an Android or it can be a, an Apple uh, device, um, then you download a free app called the DJI Go app or the Go 4 app. The Go 4 app came later. Uh, they look exactly the same. So the DJI Go app runs the earlier drones. The Go 4 app runs the later drones, anything after a Phantom 4. This is the screen you see when the drone is connecting and powering on. And then this is the screen that comes up once the drone is connected to the controller. And the first thing you see is aircraft status. And you see I've set the maximum flight altitude to 120 meters. I've set the maximum flight distance to 300. And if we scroll up, you can see at the bottom you can actually reformat the SD card here or the internal storage or both. Now if I just click on the X at the top to take aircraft status away, if you want to bring that aircraft status back, if you click on the ready to go GPS, that brings it back up. Now you should never fly unless the ready to go GPS is on green. So we're ready to go, we're going to arm the motors. Take off. And we're going to push the drone up. The home point has been updated. Please check it About on the map. Four meters. Do our post takeoff checks. All right, and everything looks like it's working fine. So let's push the drone up to. See now it's a height of twelve meters. Just turning around. And all the information is at the top. We've got 92% left on the battery. We've got 19 satellites connecting us. And it actually says that we've got 28 minutes, 28 minutes and seven seconds left on the, um, the battery. That's the battery life. You can see that line across the top. And we'll just try land the drone now. Landing.